Hello and welcome to our new moon in Leo tarot energy reading for August of 2024. How even is it possible that we are already at August? I feel like time is speeding up and so many people I talk to are saying the exact same thing. So the thing to do is slow it down and breathe and be fully present which is what we are going to do together in this little bit of time that we are both claiming to tune into this energy of the new moon. I brought in a new image in the background today in honor of Leo energy, the light, the brilliance, the shining, the radiance. We all have that inside of ourselves. And so that is this is the reminder for all of us to really allow our light to be seen and to amplify it. We are in the Lionsgate portal. Magic is happening. <laughs> I've been doing daily energy readings over on Insight Timer. And so I feel like I'm just in such a flow right now with the, the energy moving through and being translated. And the tarot is just such a fun way to play with that. So we are going to pull three cards for this new moon in Leo. There is already a guided meditation up on the Insight Timer app, so if you're on the app, there's one waiting there for you. If you are not on the app, I'm going to be creating a second New Moon in Leo meditation that is uh, really like an integration of what comes up in this reading that we're going to do right now and in the extended reading, which will be created right after this. So that meditation is part of a package. It's $33 for the extended reading and that meditation, and the link is in the description. Are you ready? Let's see. Let's see what there is for us to see. We're going to pull three cards. The first one is going to be for the collective now. The second for the individual now. If you're listening to this with me individually, what you and I have is a match in our energy. And then the third one is going to be for the highest potential for this next lunar cycle. How do we align with the very best, biggest, awesomest <laughs> timeline that is available to us? Okay, that's all. Just that. <laughs> no pressure. All right, collective now first. So beautiful. Collective now. And we'll go into each of these. That's amazing. I love that card. This is one of my favorite cards in the whole deck. And the individual now. So good. The fool. Back to the beginnings. And then the highest potential for the next lunar cycle. We are using the Light Seer's Tarot in case I forgot to mention that or you don't know this deck yet. Highest potential for the next lunar cycle. Hanged Man. I love the light in all of these. It's so beautiful. All right, let's, oh, sorry, let's go into this together. I'm trying to figure out how to keep the microphone up, so... Sorry for any bumping that happens. Okay, here we go. Collective message. What jumps out at you first with this card? What do you notice? How does it make you feel? Is there anything else that you see? Yeah, allow your message to take precedence over anything that I would share. The Ten of Cups, every time I see this card, I think of my best friend. I think of the two of us like sitting on a hammock and looking through old memories, remembering when the children were little and we did this together and that together. I have a long history with my best friend. And so there's this like time gathering, like a little time capsule. We gather all these little memories and we put them into this container. And then when we decide to sit down together, it's like, oh, remember that and that and that and that. <laughs> and so there's this feeling in my heart of history and nostalgia, but not in a way of, I want to go back to that in a way of, oh my gosh, isn't it incredible that we experienced all of that together? And that's what I feel for the, the collective right now. Um, if you watched last month, the new moon in Cancer, there was a lot of um, energy messaging around family lineage and how do we take the gifts of the family lineage that we chose to step into as souls and how do we let go of the baggage? How do we put down 
the, the places that were carrying the weight for the lineage. What happened for me, I shared about this in the podcast, uh, the Guys Love podcast called Portal Prep. Right before the Lionsgate portal opened, we had a full moon in Capricorn, and then we had a new moon in Cancer, and then another full moon in Capricorn. And I described that as like this squeezing around the energy of the heart, the family, the stories, the patterns, the cycles. And if we were available to sit in that energy, that there's magic and gifts and healing for us. So, of course, I sat (laughs) in that and had some really deep awarenesses about stories that I had experienced, actual lived experiences when I was a little girl, and then how I had embedded those as beliefs, as uh, limitations on, on how to be. And it was perfect in my story of being human until it wasn't. And so last week, there was a lot of releasing for me, a lot of awareness and then I choose to change that story I choose to not believe that anymore and instead I believe in my power I believe in my ability to lead I believe in what I see and what I feel and the energy that flows through me when when we are aware and we allow ourselves the time and the space to be with the memories be with the emotions that come up we can sort through, I described it like when we're sifting for gold as a miner with a little pan and you're shaking the pan in the water. You sort out the dust, the debris, the water moves through and then you're left with these little gold nuggets. And that's the value, that's the gem. That's what I feel for this card. There's a way that we can start to lean back now to relax into the relationships, the conversations that can hold us, that we trust, and look at the stories from different perspectives. Look at the beliefs that we've created, perhaps from a different understanding. And sometimes it's that best friend or that community or that gathering of souls you trust in human form around you. It's those people who can point out to you the story from the different perspective. Maybe we have our blinders on. We're not able to quite see it. But the one next to us can go, no, 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 no. I don't see it that way. I see it this way. And when someone gives us a reflection, someone we trust, we can lean back with them and go, you know, I hadn't thought about it like that. Let me sit with this for a moment. And something shifts inside of us. Some little knot of fear or doubt or disbelief unravels. And it's like, (laughs) oh my goodness, what if that's true? What if that story, the way you're telling it to me, is more true than the story, the way I've been telling it to myself? (laughs) That's a little bit of a wake up. (laughs) What if collectively... That's what we're all moving through right now. And the new moon in Leo is that reminder. It's the reminder of our light, the reminder of our brilliance. It's some of us starting to shine so brilliantly that it bumps into the ones next to us. Can you imagine if my best friend is like, I'm amazing. I am the best, best friend there ever was. Can you feel what that does to me? I'm like, and you chose me to hang out with? Well, that makes me pretty cool. (laughs) So then I must be pretty amazing too because we're a reflection of the people we hang out with. So if we're sitting here in the hammock and you're amazing, I'm amazing. That's one way to look at it. Sometimes in our wounding, we're like, don't shine. Don't be amazing. Don't be brilliant. Why? Why? Why don't we celebrate when someone shines, especially if it's someone we love? Why don't we celebrate with them and go, oh my gosh, you crazy lady, you. (laughs) You badass, you go. And celebrate, walk with them, walk behind them for a little while and be like, I got your back, (laughs) you go. And just expand together shine together, light up together. 
I have a space that I've been holding on Instagram called Lighting Up the Grid. That's exactly my role. It's like, come on and chat with me and let's hear your story. Let's witness you. Let's look at the gifts that you are already now, all the things you've already created and where you're headed and let's celebrate you. Let's celebrate the way you're lighting up the grid. And every single time I hold space in that way for someone else, I leave the call and I'm like, oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> My heart, I'm bouncing. I'm so happy. I'm so happy for myself that I get to hang with these beautiful people. I'm so happy for the beautiful people I'm sharing time and space with. And I'm so happy for the people who get to meet these beautiful people. Everybody wins because we all shine. That's what's possible right now in the collective. That's the energy I believe moving through the collective. Can we all shine together? Is there space and time and room for all of us to be brilliant? I say 100% yes. Absolutely. What would the world look like if all of us were in our brilliance? <laughs> I mean, can you even imagine? How do we get there? It takes a little bit of this individually. I'm going to go this way. What do you notice about this card? Do you see all the patterns in the water? The light, the crystal she's holding. It's a powerful card. It's the very first card of the deck. The Fool. It's the beginning. It's going back to the beginning. Individually, the message for us is just to be you. Go back to the beginning, the very origin of why your soul chose to come be here in human form on this planet. If you imagine this is the soul, this figure, and she already knows what her purpose, her light, her gift is, like right here. She's, she's crystallized source consciousness, the universe, energy, one, God, all. She's crystallized that into this little, uh, do I have a crystal? Like she's got a crystal and she's charged it with what her soul purpose. Look, it's right underneath the sun. <laughs> That's so good. I love how that just happened. <laughs> She's crystallized it, and it's got all kinds of stuff in it. It's got dark, it's got light, you know, it's got like all kinds of things in it. And she's like, this is my purpose. This, this is what I'm here to do. I'm looking at it in my little uh, viewfinder thing. This is my purpose. I'm going to, as a soul, I'm going to hold my purpose, and I'm going to create a grid here on earth. I'm going to anchor in a frequency. I'm going to set the blueprint for everything that I'm meant to experience in this human realm, all my magic, all my gifts, I'm going to lay it in a grid. And then I'm going to be the fool. And I'm going to, as a soul, jump into this vortex that is Earth, <laughs> this energy field that is Gaia. This might actually be what it looks like from the outside of Earth. It's like here we are, the soul, and we know when we enter this grid, this field, this atmosphere of energy, when we go in, we might forget all of this. We might forget that we were the soul. We might forget that we charged the grid, that we have a crystal a light inside of us that has all the frequency in it. We might forget that we already placed the grid. We might free fall into this experience and then we're here and we're like, what? <laughs> Who am I? Who are you? Why are we here? No, I'm just, I'm just a body. I'm just a person. I just think and I work and I do these things like, I don't even remember this. I don't even know what you're talking about. Until we land on a video like this, or we hear a song, and the song was part of what we coded into the grid, and the song starts singing, and we're like, what? <laughs> I'm remembering something. No, that can't be true. And we turn our heads, and we look away. And then all of a sudden, someone shows up in our lives, and they come bouncing in, and they're part of the grid and they have their own code but they've remembered their code they've remembered their crystal 
And so they're in there tap, tap, tapping away on our remembering by saying the right word, by remembering a story, by sharing an example, by telling us to read a book, by sending us a link to some podcast, by inviting us to go to an event or be part of a program with them. They're tap, tap, tapping. They're crystals wide awake inside of them. They know who they are. But they're tapping here in our grid to remind us that we are the full, that we are the soul who chose to come be a fool <laughs> here on earth. <laughs> and you know what happens? It works. It works. When that one that we programmed into the grid starts, or ten or hundreds or thousands that we programmed into the grid start coming into our energy field and they're like, tap, 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 tap. <laughs> this starts to wake up inside of us, this little crystal. And then one day we're out by the ocean or we're standing under the sun or we're leaning against a tree or we're laying on the grass looking up at the sky. I had a woman on my call yesterday. She said, I just spent four days out on the desert out under the stars. That'll do it. <laughs> That'll wake you up. All of a sudden you're like, I think I'm a soul. I think I'm a soul who chose to come play here on earth. And I think I have a purpose. And I believe if I keep paying attention to what's happening in the grid, this is going to activate inside of me. Maybe we call this um, our human design. Maybe we call this our blueprint, uh, our birth chart. Or in Gene Keys, we would call it our hologenetic profile. This little thing <laughs> starts to activate because this grid is being sparked and suddenly the human remembers the soul. I mean, then what happens? Well, <laughs> I'll show you. Story time. <laughs> what happens is we might feel like this. We're like, oh. okay, well, I don't want to tell you. You tell me what you feel as you look at this. I'll put them side by side. Sometimes when we leap, we feel like we're suspended in the air and we haven't quite landed in the water yet. Can you see that? It's like she's doing a high dive or a back dive, but she hasn't quite landed in the water yet. She's sort of suspended in the air. <laughs> so what do we do? Well, you trust the light. You play with the light. You experiment with this inside of you. You're like, huh. If I, because see, she's touching the water. She's like right at the grid that she already created for herself. When she was here mapping the grid, placing the grid, it's all already coded. So she's kind of just in this, um, I call it play. It might not feel like play. When we're in it, it might feel like gymnastics of the worst kind or you might get dizzy or you might have nausea or you know like it's a lot you might get really tired of being in this position you might feel like why am I still in this position why can't I just dive into the water activate the full grid and step into my greatness and my purpose there's strength that happens when we're in the hanged man position there's resiliency there's clarification that happens there's a, there's a beauty in this moment. The card that I pulled yesterday in our Insight Timer daily readings for the Lionsgate portal, the card I pulled was ordinariness. Ordinariness. Can you find the beauty in every experience of the ordinary moments? And the hanged man will teach us that. It will teach us to find the beauty in everything that we're doing. Because if we, if we just like stepped off of here into the grid and just started doing our thing, we would still be just the soul knowing everything, creating everything because we can. We programmed the grid. We programmed the crystal. We know our purpose. We're here to do it. We just go walk. We do the thing. Let's go. We'll just stay a soul then. If you, if you come into the human experience, it's to have the human experience. It's to feel what it's like to be suspended, to, to strengthen your core, to look at things from an upside down perspective, right? You already know what it looks like as a soul. What's it look like as a human? What's it feel like as a human? How do you 
get yourself from here all the way into the water and then stand up in the water and start start living your purpose <laughs> like it's part of the process it's part of the activation the light never leaves the grid never stops being coded like you're still the soul having a human experience but now you're in the human experience so the highest potential for the next lunar cycle exactly where you are is perfect trust it trust it and in whatever your experience is right now how do you strengthen your humanness how do you align more with your soul how do you i mean she's finding her balance she's she's practicing i mean it's beautiful it's movement but it's like i mean this is a form of exercise for many people this is what they do to exercise they go do i forget what it's called uh there's a word for it but i don't remember it it's with the material that hangs from the ceilings it's a it's a mind it's like a form of meditation that's what i want to say it's a form of harmonizing your mind your body your soul and so that seems to be the message for the next lunar cycle strengthen Whatever way you harmonize your own mind, body, soul, strengthen that, practice that, make it your daily routine for the next month. Know that that light, that soul, that, that coding, the coding here in the crystal that you brought down here to earth, like it's in you. It can't ever leave you. That is the soul in the human form. And how do you harmonize the ability of your body to trust that light, of your mind to be guided by that light, of your heart to stay open? <laughs> Even when collectively we're all reviewing our stories and going, oh, like that was a lot. That was a lot. Why did I choose that? Why did I choose this situation? Why did I choose this relationship? Why did I choose that experience? There was a gift in it. It was, it was part of the coding it's part of your purpose. It was 100% part of this that you decided as the fool <laughs> would be a great idea. <laughs> Isn't that a good statement? You, the soul, decided as a fool it would be a great idea to come down and be the hanged man. <laughs> but maybe when we come back next month, this hanged man because we stepped into the highest potential, which is I'm here in this moment, and this moment is perfect. What am I meant to learn and experience right now? Let me get all that I can out of this. Let me harmonize my mind, my body, my soul now, here in this moment, in this experience, because it's perfect. Even if my mind is like, what? <laughs> it's perfect. And when we stay in that alignment, Next month, when we come back, we've completed the next lunar cycle. We'll have moved through a full moon in Aquarius. Whoa! <laughs> As we're moving in the last little degrees of Pluto in Aquarius before it goes into Pluto in Capricorn one last time in September. This is the month of the last little bit of retrograde Pluto in Aquarius. Last little bit. We won't have a go retrograde again in our lifetime. So we've got a little bit more review and right in the middle of that we get the full moon in Aquarius. You know why? Because our souls programmed it that way. Because <laughs> our souls knew we needed a little extra illumination, a little extra brilliance so we could get all the magic out of it. We'll move through that and then we'll come in and we'll be back with the new moon in Virgo. Let's see what happens. Let's see what that's going to show us. But for the next month, let's harmonize mind, body, soul to be prepared for the next things that we're going to be moving through. We're in the Lionsgate portal. Next week on 8-8 is a powerful time for manifestation. So commit to your practice. Stick to it. Do your daily practice. If you want to join me on 8-8, I'm going to be hosting a roundtable discussion about leading from the heart. And I'm going to use whatever we discuss as part of a course I'm creating called Leading from the Heart that will be on Insight Timer. So it's going to be a powerful day of creation if you want to come and hang out with me. It's $88 and it's going to be magical. 
Um, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to create the extended and the extended reading. We'll go deeper into all of this and then I will create the meditation that brings all of this message together. So if any of this resonates, you can sign up for that. It's $33 and it's going to be so good. <laughs> so good. I think that's it. I wish you a beautiful new moon in Leo. Thank you for being here with me.